Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushikara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how you can repost Webflow blog post across social media platforms automatically. So let's take an example that you are a software business owner and you are creating some blogs for your new products and services and you are sharing those blogs on your social media platforms. Now you want that whenever you post a new blog in your Webflow account, automatically the same post should be shared on your Facebook account, on your LinkedIn account as well as on your Twitter. For this we need to create a connection between Webflow and your social media platforms. So in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating all these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here we are going to search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as share webflow blog post on social media platforms. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to share or we want to repost our Webflow blog post on various social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and some more. So let's open this trigger window and here we are going to choose the application name as Webflow. Select the trigger event as collection item created. Let's click on connect. Here we are going to click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API token. So let us read the instructions. Enter your API token along with the bearer prefix. You can find your API key by logging to your Webflow account. Go to the project settings, integrations and you can find the API access. So I will take you to my uh, Webflow account over here where I have created some projects or some designs, uh, sorry some sites. So this is my Webflow dashboard. I am just going to open this particular project named Super Cool. And here we can find uh, three lines. So I am just going to click on it. And here we can find the project settings. Simply click on project settings. And here we can find the integrations option. Simply click on integrations. And when we scroll down, here we can find the API access. So I'm just going to click on generate new API token over here. I'll just copy this API access key from here. I'll move back to Pabli Connect and I'll be pasting the same API key or a token over here. And let's click on save. And now the Webflow account is connected to Pabli Connect as I was already logged into my Webflow account. Now here we have to select the site name that is super cool automatically captured over here. And let's click on save and send test request. Now here we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we are going to create a new blog in our uh, project. So I'll just move to my super cool site over here. Okay. And let's move to the home page. I'm just going to open the site once again. And here I'll be moving to the CMS section and let's click on blog posts. 
and here we are going to create a new blog by clicking on this plus sign new blog post. Let's give the name as Pabli integrations and automations. Okay, and here we can find the slug as same. I'll just copy this URL from here and I'll be pasting it over here in the link. Okay, and let us add the main image over here. So I'm selecting the image from my system and let us select this new integrations image. And here we are going to just add a content. So I've added a random content over here. Okay, and let's click on publish. Okay, and here we can see that our new blog is published. Now let's move back to Public Connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details of the blog are captured over here. So now we want to share this blog on our various social media platforms. So let's scroll down, come to this action step, choose the application name as Facebook Pages. Select the action event as Create Page Post. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection and click on Connect with Facebook Pages. Authorization successful. And now the Facebook pages are connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your Facebook account. Now here we have to select the Facebook page name on which we want to display this particular blog post. So I have already created some Facebook pages and we are going to use this particular Pabli Tech page for this automation. Okay, the page name is Pabli Tech. So I'll be selecting the same page over here, that is Pabli Tech. And here we can see that the page access token is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now here we need to give the message. So I'll just give the message as, hey guys, check out our new blog. Okay, so I'm just giving a random message over here. And after that, I'll just map the blog details. That is the title of the blog, Pabli Integrations and Automations. Okay, and here the link is required, the blog link. So we'll just map the blog link from Webflow. And this is the link. And let's click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received. It means the same blog is shared on your Facebook page. Let's check it. We have to refresh it once. Let's scroll down. Okay, and here we can see that the post has been published over here. Hey guys, check out our new blog, Public Integrations and Automations. And here we can find the link also. So let's open the blog post link over here. Okay, and here we can find the image as well as the blog description. So in this way, we have set an automation between Webflow and Facebook pages. Now we want to uh, share the same post on our LinkedIn account also. For that, click on this plus sign, add action step. Select the application name as LinkedIn. Select the action event as share an article or URL. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with LinkedIn. So I'll just click on sign in button over here. Authorization successful. And now the LinkedIn account is connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to select the author name. So it is automatically captured in my case. You have to select your author name. Now it is asking for the content. So let us give the same content over here. That uh, hey guys check out our new blog. I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. Okay, and in the blog, I am just going to add the details once again. That is the title, Pabli Integrations and Automations. And here we have to give the article URL. So let us map it from here. This was the link of the article. Here you can set the visibility as public or connections. I am selecting it as public. And let's click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received. It means the blog is shared on your LinkedIn account also. Let's check our LinkedIn account. Here we can find a new notification. 
Your post was shared successfully on LinkedIn, Pabli Integrations and Automations. Let's open this post. Okay, and here we can find the title, here we can find the image and let's check the URL also. So again, the same URL is shared over here. Okay, let's move back to Pabli Connect. Now we want to share the same post on Twitter account also. For that, click on this plus sign and click on add action step. Select the application name as Twitter. Action event as create tweet with media. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Twitter. So as I am already logged into my Twitter account, it is asking authorize Pabli Connect to access your account. Let's click on authorize app. Authorization successful and now the Twitter account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Twitter account also. Okay. Now here we have to map the message once again. So let us map the name from Webflow that is the title Pabli Integrations and Automations. And along with this title, here I am just going to map the link also from Webflow. And here we are going to map the media file URL. For that, I will come to Webflow and here we are going to find the image URL, that is main image URL. Okay. And here we have to select the media category as image and let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see again the response is received. It means the same blog is shared on our Twitter account also. Let's check it. Okay, and here we have got a new post. Hey guys, check out our new blog, Pabli Integrations and Automations and here we can find the blog link. Okay, and here one more thing, uh, our image is not visible over here just because I have added the GIF image over here. Okay, the extension is .gif and here the instruction is mentioned that enter a publicly accessible image URL and it should be in .png or .jpg format only. And the maximum file size should be 5 MB. So there might be a reason that uh, this particular file is in GIF format. So it is not displayed on our Twitter, Twitter account. Okay. But uh, when we go to the blog post, the blog post is correct over here. So in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect. And let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now, as we have created an automation between our Webflow account and our social media platforms, next time whenever you are going to add a new blog to your Webflow account, automatically the same blog will be reposted on all your social media platforms like Facebook pages, LinkedIn, Twitter or if you want to add some more social media platforms by clicking on this plus sign, you can add the social medias as per your requirement. Okay. Now, we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to my Webflow account once again and here let us create one more blog post by clicking on this plus sign and let us give the name as Pabli Email Marketing. Okay, and here I'm just going to add a random image from my system. Let's see which image I am having. Okay, I'm just taking this new use cases for Pabli Connect just for the checking purpose. Okay, here we are just going to add a random content. Okay, and here the link is required. So I'll just copy this link from here and I'll be pasting the same link over here. Okay, and let's click on publish. Okay, and here we can see that the blog is published on our Webflow account. Now we have to check our social media platforms. Before that, I'll just close this previous blogs. Okay, and let us check all the social media platforms one by one. First, let us move to Facebook. We have to refresh it. Let's scroll down. Okay, and here we can find the details. Hey guys, check out our new blog, Pabli Email Marketing. And here we can find the uh, image that is for new use cases. And let us check the blog post also. And here we can find the image, new use cases for Pabli Connect. And here we can find the content. So this post is correctly shared on our Facebook page. Now let us check our LinkedIn account. We have to refresh the LinkedIn account also. And here we have got a new notification. Let's open it. Okay, I'll just open this notification. Hey guys, check out our new blog, Pabli Email Marketing. New use case for Pabli Connect. And here we can find the link. Let us open the link. Okay, and the correct link is shared on 
our LinkedIn account also. Now we are going to check our Twitter account. We have to refresh our Twitter account also. Okay, and before that we can find show three tweets. Okay, and this time we can see that the image is shared on our Twitter account also. So here we can find the link. Let us check the blog link also. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine and the blog post is shared on our multiple social media platforms correctly. Let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just minimize this uh, action step as well as this trigger window also. So first we have created an integration between Webflow and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of your blog that you have created into your Webflow account. And using those details of the blog, automatically the same blog was shared on your Facebook pages and your LinkedIn account as well as on your Twitter account also. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Webflow and multiple social media platforms using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.